how to set up your controller for Lucio in Overwatch 2. Hey, so with the recent release of the PS5 DualSense Edge Pro Controller, this now gives Sony first-party only players an edge in various different PS5 games. With that in mind, I'll be showing you various different setups on custom remapping your Pro or non-Pro controller based on your own playstyle and preferred hero, starting with Lucio. As with a scuff controller or an Xbox Elite controller, the PS5 DualSense Edge allows the player to remap or deactivate specific button inputs, as well as allowing you to fine-tune your aim by adjusting stick sensitivity, stick height, as well as dead zones. But for the purpose of the video, we'll be focusing on remapping the button layouts. Now, playing as Lucio requires the player to elevate certain key advantages that Lucio inherently has, namely mobility, survivability, and unpredictability. To achieve all these, you'll need to have complete control over his movements, and with the right button layout, your Lucio can be very tough to pin down. First up, we have the standard layout. If you're more inclined to stick to the default layout, it's best to keep everything the same, except for the allow backwards wall ride option. Always switch that to on. But as for the DualSense Edge, you can set the X button to the left back button, or LB, and then the circle button to the right back button, or RB. Although if you're left-handed like I am, I tend to set it the opposite way. It just, it just feels right. Next, we have the trigger hop layout. For the regular controller, first open the menu and select options. Go over to controls and press R3 to select Lucio. Now that you have Lucio on screen, scroll down to the movement section and remap toggle crouch to L3, then jump to L2. Next, on the weapons and abilities section, remap ability 1 or crossfade to R1, and then remap ability 2 or amp it up to the X button. Interact to the circle button, and then the secondary fire or sound wave to L1. This allows Lucio to leverage his jumps and wall rides while still being able to aim with the right stick and change beats at all times. By moving amp it up to the X button, you ensure that all the single button press abilities that require little to no aiming are all placed on the face buttons. As for the Pro Controller, you can map the left back button for amp it up and the right back button for the ultimate sound barrier. This will allow you to be almost completely independent of the face buttons. The communicator layout is a lot like the previous layout but with just a small iteration with the remap back buttons. Instead of creating a duplicate button for amp it up and sound barrier in the back buttons, you'll instead remap the down D-pad to the left back button and the left D-pad to the right back button. This ensures that you'll be able to tag enemies on the screen for your teammates to see and also be able to communicate effectively without having to stop Lucio just to press the D-pad. Now as for controller sensitivity and aim settings, it'll be a matter of personal preference, but these are the changes I found best for Lucio. On the control panels, set horizontal sensitivity to 70 and vertical sensitivity to 55. Tick advanced to open a drop down menu and set aim assist strength to 100. Aim assist window size to 80. Aim assist ease in to 15. Aim smoothing and aim ease in to zero. And lastly, make sure aim technique is set to linear ramp. These settings will allow you to have as quick a response time as possible, while still being able to control your aim. If you have your jump button set to L2, it's also recommended to have your left trigger stop to be set at its shortest configuration. There are so many ways to customize your button layouts for the Pro Controller of your choice, but these are the three I use most often when playing Lucio. If you have your own preferred button layout, feel free to share in the comment section down below. And if you want to see more of my custom layouts for other Overwatch 2 heroes, consider subscribing to my channel for future updates. GG everyone. Peace!